welcome back to my channel. I am Heather the Confetti Stitcher and this week we are going to be, well possibly two weeks, we're going to be working on our Sleepy Hollow piece which is from Glendon Place and possibly another project we will see. It's going to depend on kind of how much progress gets made and what my inclinations are. Um, if you're new, this is a channel about cross stitch. If you've been here a while, welcome back. I hope that you all enjoy what you see. We are in two challenge groups for stitching, and that is the Magical Stitches group as well as the Stitching Adventure game. Um, Magical Stitches, I got a correct guess a while ago. It's based around the clue game, and so I decided not to get another clue package, but I am still stitching um, the weekly and yearly tasks. And then the Stitching Adventure game is new, so if you want to join that, um, it's on Facebook. And it is based around like adventuring type games like Zelda. Um, I think there's some World of Warcraft in there, I don't actually play that, but those types of games, but it's all stitching related and that is a monthly, updated monthly, so this is the first official month of the story. Um, I'm currently working on just the early task for Magical Stitches, so that's basically just stitch whatever you want and put in 2,000 stitches. And then the current task I'm doing for the stitching adventure game is to scavenge supplies. So we're working on blankets, which are 500 stitches each, and you get experience points in various things. So like I get scavenging experience, mathematician, because I'm, I count my stitches, as well as, actually those are the only two I'm currently earning, but there's a whole bunch of different ones and more will be added later on. Um, but we're doing that. And so our starting project is going to be Sleepy Hollow. I'm filming this slightly out of order, so you're, I'm going to come in with another clip showing another piece of it, so that's why I'm not showing it now. Um, but basically I just continue to film, forgetting that I wanted to break it up into different vlogs. So I will see you in the past. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday the 12th. It is... 10? 11? I have no idea. But we are going to do some stitching today. I finished 160 stitches yesterday, which is actually more than I thought I would because I actually had a very productive day not stitching, but doing a bunch of other stuff yesterday. So I made a new sign. I basically went to Joann's to pick up some, actually my first, I think my first trip where I didn't actually buy any stitching supplies. So I probably could have bought some 310, but I uh, got some stuff for some art slash craft projects for the baby. And their summer stuff was like 70% off, so I got a new sign for outside. And I needed to get some paint for a project, a Christmas project that I'm working on. And they had a sign, like a summer sign, like like I said, like 70% off. So I bought that. And then when I got home, I ended up painting that so that I could get it outside. Um, just quick. Didn't paint the whole thing, but did that. Got my nails done. Well, did my nails. They look bad, but my thumbnail was like all the way down. How can I show you? There, it had cracked, which is like way below the... Uh, the natural break line so I'm hoping I use the color street nail polish strips I'm hoping that like helps kind of glue it in place until it can grow out enough that it won't hurt like a bee to pull off um so d did my nails and did dishes washed all the baby's bottles got it on my groceries bought and yeah so there's some other stuff I did too but 
So I didn't think I'd be able to do a whole lot of stitching, but I got in, like I said, 160 stitches. The pumpkins make it easy because each pumpkin is 20 stitches. So it's really, and now I have the, they're all the same. So it's memorized now. So it goes faster, much faster than that freaking Krynik did because holy crap. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to do some stitching now. I reorganized my stitchy three-tier cart. Um, so I've already accomplished some stuff today, which is good. But yeah, we're just going to work on that. I'm currently in the process of trying to reorganize my whole craft room because it's probably going to be a while before we get the craft, the new craft room built. So I'm trying to make everything more easily accessible. And today is Amazon Prime Day, so I might want to buy some organization stuff. But I'm currently looking around and trying to figure out A, if I need new new bins and stuff because I don't want to buy them if I don't need them obviously um and yeah just trying to get some stuff off my list so I am oh and I got my planner set up yesterday too for next year for I have two planners one is for stitching which I didn't do much to it I basically just added some stickers and stuff and then the other one is my work slash life planner. So I got that all set up with a bunch of stickers and stuff. That's actually why I went to Joanne's as they had the stickers that I needed, whereas Happy Planner didn't. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to possibly, so this is the project I'm working on. I bought this last year. It's a post office box thing um that'll sit on the fireplace and it needs painted and stuff obviously so that's and I'm gonna put some like Cricut vinyl and stuff on it um so that's on my list to get done this month but I might end up working on it a little bit today but yeah it's a lot of a lot of painting that's gonna have to go on there um so yeah, so anyway, here is the progress that I made yesterday on the Sleepy Hollow. So there's a good chance I can get this done today. And I believe the, just this color orange is 500 stitches. So I think I counted it up and I'm pretty sure it's over that. Um, so I'm gonna continue this for a little while because I'm not feeling totally great. And we'll see what progress I can make, but I will check in with you all tomorrow and let you know. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday the 13th, 14th. It's, oh man, my hair's a mess. Baby had a really rough night last night. Didn't we? Did we have a rough night? Yes, we did. You didn't take your nap. <laughs> so, yeah. Took a long walk this morning to try to get him down for that nap. And he just woke up from another one. So, I'm going to try to stitch a little bit. Um, I did get the 500 put in yesterday plus an additional 40 to finish out the outside of the pumpkins and I'm going to start the inside of them now. I don't know how far I will get, but I was doing a lot of Prime Day shopping yesterday as well. Probably not good, but whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, we finished all of the outside pumpkins and the next color is just one shade lighter. Um, but each pumpkin has 10 of these stitches, so those will be easy to count as well. So here's my progress. Oh, yeah. And then there's one more orange that will go in the pumpkin after this color. And then the black, which will go into every piece because it is the pumpkins and then in between those is skulls and then in between these white parts is bats. Um, 
I had thought that the back stitching was all done with two strands of black, but it's only one. So the back stitch is gonna come last. You are so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. He keeps looking over at me and smiling. Anyway, so I'm gonna work on this one, which is 721, I think. And check in with y'all later. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I know I already came in, came to you. <laughs> Did not come into you earlier today. Um, but I got my order from 123 Stitch In and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So, let me open it. I also got a new Deminard Club painting and it is the 11th Doctor. I already had the 10th, but this one came back into stock and it was actually cheaper than I thought, I think. So, and this one did come with the new toolkit, which is my first new toolkit, but anyway, you guys are here for stitching. That we got the Halloween, which this one I'm going to do. I don't like the perforated paper holes showing, so I'm just going to put black in all of the background. The Midnight Glow candlestick. The Trick or Treat Mill Hill Kits, and these will all be turned into ornaments for the Spooky Willow Tree that I will be getting this year. And da, 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 the Just Cross Stitch 2022 Halloween issue. So excited for this. I'm going to film a flip through of this, which you will see before actually. I you're gonna see this video, but I just wanted to tell you when I got it. <laughs> There's already some cute stuff in there. I was just reading this one right here. Really? This is like the ninth time. <laughs> Love that. So yeah, I'm gonna do a flip through this and see you all later. And I only got 10 stitches in, but you know. Progress is progress. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. It is Thursday the 14th. It's probably about nine o'clock, probably not even nine o'clock. And today is one of Baby Boy's daycare days. I have a lot of stuff to do today, so I don't know how much stitching will get done. I only put in 50 stitches yesterday, but I will put in some. Um, I just have some errands to run. I want to finish, well, maybe finish off the mailbox that I've been stitching, <laughs> stitching, painting. Um, oh, and I did a little art project with Baby Boy yesterday. So he picked out the colors and I put a bunch of paint on here. It's, I didn't want to use a canvas because he could like lay on it and poke through it. So I got a canvas board and just put it all in a plastic bag and let him have fun. And then when I pulled the plastic bag off, it made all those lines. So unintentional, but I like it. Believe it or not, there's like six colors in there. But <laughs> anyway, um, I think his favorite color is green because those are definitely all the colors that he was going for. Anyway, I, like I said, I'm planning on doing some stitching today and painting. I have to go run and get a prescription and lunch so that's gonna wait a little bit I'm looking up at my stuff my things to do um, and I think I have some more stuff to put in my planner but some of that may have to wait but anyway here is what the pumpkins are looking like so just doing those inside ones and like I said there's one more light color and then the black and then that will be it for the pumpkins because or for the border oh no I'm sorry there's white as well um so after this there's 
two more colors to go other than the beads, which I decided I am going to wait until the end. And the beads are only in the border, so it won't be too much to do. But I will go ahead and do the back stitch once I'm done with the inside border. And if you know me, you'll know that this is crazy, but I actually have a pretty neat back. Normally I would just carry all the way through, but I was afraid the orange would show through to the front, even though it is a dark fabric. But anyway, it's looking good. I'll see if I can finish this color in the pumpkins, but I still have, like I said, quite a bit to go. I've only put in five. And I think that's all I have to share with you guys. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Friday the 15th. It's 9.30 in the morning and I'm going to do hopefully some stitching today. The pumpkins definitely look more like pumpkins now that that last orange color is in. And my goal yesterday was to finish 500 stitches to finish a blanket, but the Stitching Adventure game redid all of their, basically it's, supplies are getting more scarce. And so now we have to do more stitches to get items. But the experience points kind of got moved around a little bit. So it used to be like, 200 stitches for food would equal one experience point. Blankets were three experience points for 500 stitches. So you kind of got some bonus stitches or some bonus experience. But now that they changed it. Mocha, get off the changing table. Mocha. And for reference, yeah, she's totally, he's totally looking up at her. <laughs> he keeps trying to get at her. It's really funny. Anyway, my, uh, oh, so when they, but when they changed the stitch requirements, blankets ended up being worth a lot less, like less experience for a number of stitches. So I decided to move my stitches over to water, which is 200 stitches. All right, yeah, 200 stitches and one experience point. Because some of the other ones, like, you could do, she added clothing and you could scavenge clothing, but you only get 0.1 experience for 50 stitches. So I think that works out to even less. So I decided to move over to water, which is 200 for one, which is standard. I think that's the standard I'm going to go off of for the game. Like what I can expect. Blankets moved up to like 900 stitches and you only got, I think three experience or four experience. Either way it works out. Um, and we need a lot more water than we had originally or than the other categories anyway. So, but since I had already done over 200 stitches, I had to do another bulk session. Um, so it was only two bulk. So I finished out those 400 and posted a picture. And I think, I don't have my planner with me. It's in the other room. But I think that I have started the next section no, I finished, I finished exactly 400. Um, and I remember that because of where I stopped on my pattern. So here is that. I have a feeling he might come grab it any second now. <laughs> but you can see those little pumpkins are getting finished. Well, sort of. But now we have some smiling, happy faces and less weird alien looking circles. <laughs> um, but just working my way back up this way across and then I'll come down and do across this way. But each pumpkin only has six stitches of this color. So it's really easy to remember. And actually after the first like one or two pumpkins, I basically had it memorized. So it was easier to go around. 
So after I finish this, I'm going to do the white for the skulls. And that way, when I start the black, it's just filling in the pumpkin and filling in the skulls and then counting for the bats. So I think it'll be easier to do it that way than trying to memorize where it goes in the skulls and the bats. So it'll just be less counting in general. And then after that, I'm going to do the inside border and then I'll start the back stitching and back stitch the whole border because the back stitching goes on both the inside and the outside gray bits. But that's going to be my plan. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do the back stitching because it's like all like one just back stitch all on the outside. So I definitely don't want to do like one huge running stitch. So I'm trying to figure out how many stitches I want to go. Because I definitely don't want to do it every single stitch. But anyway. Hi, sweet thing. Are you eating your hand? Yes, you are. Still no teeth yet. But we tried green beans yesterday, and we had our first Cheerios, even though he hasn't figured out that he can put stuff in his mouth that's actually edible instead of just everything else. Huh. Yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> but that's where I'm going to leave you guys, and hopefully I will have some more stitching tomorrow. I do have... Well, I know I'm going to have stitching tomorrow because... Well, it's going to depend. I have... Friday, which is today, I have today's stitching, but tomorrow I have my stitchy meetup group, and I missed it last month, so my mother-in-law is going to come over and help with the baby, um, so I can go to it tomorrow, and, but I don't know if I want to film later today, or starting, or if I just want to stitch tomorrow and then come to you guys on Sunday, but. I think I'm going to try to come to you guys tonight and then again Sunday so that way you can see my Saturday stitching. But I'm going to leave you off here and see you then. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sunday the 17th. <laughs> Excuse me. It is probably like 3 in the afternoon maybe. Being quiet because the baby is sleeping. He had a fever yesterday so... We're letting him hopefully sleep it off. It was better this morning, but not 100%. Um, but anyway, I ended up putting in like 20 stitches on Friday, but I put in 600 yesterday at my retreat, or not my retreat, but my stitchy get together. And I finished all of the orange of the pumpkins as well as the white of the skulls. So I have two colors left. I have black and then I have the inside gray border and then the back stitching. Um, so it'll still be a while, but I feel really happy with where we're at with it. And I finished, t did I? Yeah, sort of. I finished the mailbox thing that I've been working on for the last like week or so finish that today. Um, the only thing that I need to fix is that this, I'll show you when I go out there, but the string that holds the, um, like the back to the front, like the back piece so that it sits up, came off right as I finished painting and putting vinyl on all that on. So I had to staple that back on and the staples were too long and they went through the front so I have to hammer those back into place but the baby fell asleep and so I have to wait to do that but I'm gonna show that to you when I go out there but here is my progress on Sleepy Hollow and like I said we just have the black part to go here so it's gonna go the bats and then inside their eyes and mouths and noses and then the cobwebs are here in the corner and then just the inside border and then we can start on the fun stuff now I might do the words first but I think I might start on the there's like a tree um, on this side and so that'll be easiest to count from so I may just start with the tree 
and go from there um, because I don't want the words to get messed up like as I'm holding the fabric, same with the beads. So I think I'm just gonna start with this part and we'll see where we get, but that's not gonna be for quite a while, so you'll definitely not be seeing that before the next video. But I did get some new highlighters as well. Good time for back to school shopping um, because basically what I'm doing is on the pattern, you can kind of see, oh, baby's up. Um, I'm basically using a different color for each new water task that I have to do, or whatever the stitching adventure task is. Um, so I needed new colors because the other ones didn't. The only other colors I had were only four colors, I think, and that wasn't enough to differentiate. So <coughs> anyway. I'm going to leave you here and see you all later. So here is my completed mailbox. So there's actually, I got this from Joann's, I think. It's either Joann's or Michael's, pretty sure it was Joann's. Uh, yeah. At Christmas time last year, but there's actually a collection thing on the back, so baby boy can put his letters to Santa in here for them to be picked up. So not perfect, but basically the whole thing was just wood, so I had to paint it all. This is a vinyl cutout, which took for freaking ever. I always forget how much I hate vinyl, and it's definitely not perfect, but whatever. It's fine. some of those out. I didn't use transfer tape because I keep forgetting to buy some so that's why it kind of sucks but whatever and the staples came through there at the bottom so I tried to bring them back through but it wasn't working so I painted them and I'm probably gonna have to stick a little something down there to kind of cover it up but for now until I can figure out what I want to do with that it is completed if I do put something down there, it'll probably be a mini vinyl cutout of some sort. But, yep, I like it. And I'm going to go and put it in the garage until Christmas time. But I will check in with you tomorrow with hopefully some stitching. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It is Tuesday the 19th. It is 1.15 and I'm just now starting to stitch. I basically spent the whole morning, you might see what kind of what I did, but kind of reorganizing my craft room, cleaning stuff up a little bit. There's still, I have to clean up my desk a little bit, but just really trying to organize and make things look neat um still stuff I have to do but the big thing was is I took down all my diamond paintings and hung them up behind the door with all of my Cricut vinyl um basically the vinyl ends right there Ooh, right there and then everything else on the bottom and the back is all diamond paintings. Um, the only one I still have hung up is my, which you can see right over there, um, is one I'd already started. And my Beauty and the Beast one is still on the bed because I will work on it, I swear. <laughs> um, but I'm going to work on Sleepy Hollow now. I did put in... Basically 200 stitches over the last two days. I only did like 20. That's why I didn't film yesterday, but. Um, and then like 180 yesterday. And it's just so far filling in the eyes of the pumpkins and skulls. 
because I didn't want to have to count um, since I was stitching while I was holding the baby or watching the baby. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the craft room a little bit and then show you the stitching. So basically I just cleaned up those shelves a little bit, hung up my cork board for work. Try not to make you guys sick. That is a um, Keurig K-cup holder and I kept forgetting I had K-cups in it and so I decided to repurpose it into holding like some of my diamond stuff and all that. Uh, this is all my makeup and lotions and stuff. Like I said, I still have to clean up the desk area. Um, but I, oops, stabbed myself with the scissors. Put in all of the eyes and mouths and noses all along that side and then working my way across the bottom. Then I'll go up this way, across this way, and then across this way. And then I'll go back in and fill in the bats, which still has quite a bit, so we're missing black for quite a while. But I'm going to work on that and check in with you all hopefully tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Thursday the 21st. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon probably and baby boy is not in daycare today. Because he got creep. He is currently over <laughs> working his way out into the hallway. For some reason he really is obsessed with the transition between the door or between the carpet and the hardwood. Anyway, keeping an eye on him, but so Tuesday we put in like 178 stitches and yesterday we put in 98. So we did finish a water, we're working on another one. Um, basically Tuesday night is when we went to the ER because he was having trouble breathing. And hi, sweetie pie. Hi, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. You are so adorable. Are you Julie? Come here. Come here, come say hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. Yep, he was basically just getting around everywhere. Sorry, he's kind of crooked. Hi. You see the phone, don't you? You want the phone. Um, so yeah, we took him to the ER at like, it was probably like five or six because the doctor's office was closed by the time he got back from daycare. We weren't sure, or there was nowhere to take him because urgent care didn't take babies that young. Hi, sweetie. Come here. So they swabbed him for all the, well, like the regular, like COVID, RSV, flu, all that stuff. But they could pretty much tell by his cough. And they did a chest x-ray just to make sure because he's just got over being sick a couple weeks ago. So they did it just to make sure. Yes, you've already had two x-rays because you had one and you were born for the same thing. Um, but everything was, was good and that's all it is, is it's croup, so. I mean, not all. It sucks for him, but they gave him a steroid and I think he's getting over the hump today, but I'm hoping over the next, maybe, couple of days that he will be getting a lot better. Needless to say, we did not sleep last night. He was up every, like, hour or two. Weren't ya? Yeah. But it's not your fault, because you don't feel good. 
Um, but anyway, we are almost done with the border for filling in the eyes and noses and mouths. So I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to hope to get some more in today. I at least want to finish up all the eyes and stuff, so we'll see if I can accomplish that. But here is what that is looking like. So we have the two pumpkins there and then just those, that middle. So hopefully we can get that going. Hi there. You're so cute. Yeah, his uh, mohawk is unintentional. It's just how his hair is growing and it's really funny. Do we need to get you a haircut soon? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go back in and fill in the bats, which will take a little bit more just because the bat changes direction on where it faces, unlike all of these. So I can't like memorize it and just go from there. But I couldn't really do that with the skulls either because I was partially distracted while I was doing it, I think. Because I was at my stitchy group, but... I'm gonna do this. Hopefully you'll see a bat. Otherwise, we'll just see some more fill-in, but I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday the 22nd, I think. It is, since I know you guys love seeing him, hi BB. It's like hmm, nine o'clock in the morning maybe. And he's still breathing hard, but he's actually feeling better. He slept through the night last night, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, we put in 112 stitches yesterday, which means we have 12 stitches left to finish up one of the waters. And I think, I need to double check, but I think we finished a yearly, so I need to go and add those up. <laughs> yeah. But we did finish all of the, he's trying to reach for the phone, all of the mouth, nose, eye, holes. Um, so we're going to start on the first bat and finish up the water. Today is a work day for me, so I have to do some stuff for that. But actually, I've done everything I can as far as this morning is concerned. Well, as far as right now is concerned. Um, I did a little work yesterday and was able to finish. Um, some of that stuff, so you have to clear out your nose, my friend. Um, so we are going to hopefully get some stitching time in. My mother-in-law said she was going to come babysit tomorrow, maybe, depending on what her schedule was like, so may get some more in tomorrow, but as for today, my goal is to get obviously the 12, but <clears throat> get all that figured out and hopefully just get in at least two bats. <laughs> You're so cute. So we're going to do that and I will check in with you all later. But here is what it is looking like. And we're going to start with that first bat right up there on the left hand side corner. So, or not corner, but down from the corner because the corner is a spider web. So I'm going to do that and check in with you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Saturday the 23rd. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon because baby boy did not sleep last night and so I had to take a nap. <laughs> so I got 212 stitches put in yesterday so I was able to finish two tasks and turns out I had hit the monthly a few days ago or not the monthly the yearly a few days ago so I just posted that picture so I'm already like 400 or so, 300 or so stitches into the new yearly. And so we're just going to continue stitching. I was able to finish three and a half, pretty much exactly three and a half bats. Um, so we're just going to continue working on the bats and I will see you guys tomorrow. So here is what they're looking like. They're super cute. This one right here is off by a stitch but that's in the pattern but it's gonna kind of drive me nuts <laughs> but we're working on this one which is the last one of the row or the column 
and then we're gonna work our way across the bottom. So I'm gonna continue that. Each bat is 60 stitches, so that kind of helps with counting and it seems to be going pretty quick. So hopefully it stays that way. But I'm gonna just work on that and see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Monday the 24th. Apparently someone's having fun. I don't know why he wasn't out in the doorway, but whatever. <laughs> Eat your new diaper. Um, anyway, so I didn't come to you yesterday because when I started stitching for the day, he was napping and so I didn't want to be too loud because he's still kind of getting over being sick. Hey, you. What are you doing over there? Why don't you come over here? Ooh. <laughs> Did you see yourself? Did you see yourself? Oh, you see the phone. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we, so I didn't film until today, but I put in basically 200 stitches over the, like for each day for the last two days. So that puts me at almost done with the, I think I have, let me look, it's right here. Let's see, I think I'm on the last bat for the right side. Yeah. Um, so I just have the top and the middle to do, and it also puts me at my first level rank up in Stitching Adventure Game. So for scavenging, I already earned 25 experience points, so that means I have to do 10%, or not have to, but I get to do 10% less stitches for scavenging tasks. Um, so instead of having to do 200 for water, I only have to do 180, which is actually exactly three bats. So, unfortunately, it's since I'm in the middle of a bat, it's not really helpful as much, but it'll help my counting. <laughs> I see you slowly coming over here. I see you. Um, he's still, it's a little weird to see, but, um... Yeah, so the next one I think is 50 experience points, so it's going to take me a while to get into, but we also lost two of our team members, but we did gain someone new, and then we'll, we have enough team members to still have a team, um, but we were maxed out, but it ended up being a little too much for two of our members, so we got somebody new, and we have an open spot, so we'll probably be filling that soon. <laughs> You're getting closer and closer. Are you ducking me? Yes, you are. <laughs> it's really getting around now. So here is what that is looking like. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hello. Say I am baby confetti. Alright, here's that. So... The whole top is basically 180 stitches, so I could do that. And so is the middle. Sorry. <laughs> I shrugged and forgot I was holding the phone in my hand. But, oh, and that was him yanking on the cord. Hey. Um, but I think I'm just going to continue on with that bat, um, since my needle's already threaded and all that. And that way I don't have to, like, stop and start. So I'm going to do that. We'll see if I can finish it. But I think I'm going to end this vlog series once I get the border, that in, inner border done. Because that's all I have left other than the back stitching. And I think I'm going to do the back stitching in a new post, or a new vlog. But anyway, you'll probably see me for two or three more days. But I'm going to work on this and see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Tuesday the 26th. It is, I know it's the 24th yesterday, but, um, it's like 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the morning. Baby boy is at daycare. I slept in a little bit because it was really needed. And I have some chores I have to do today, but I'm going to get some stitching in. I only finished up the one bat I was working on. So yeah, didn't even start the ones across the top. 
but my plan is hopefully to finish the bats today and then we'll kind of see what happens after that. Um, and I have the inside border and then I'm still debating if I'm starting the back stitching or not. I might, I probably will because I want to see what the, the cobwebs look like. Um, and I want to see what happens with the pumpkins and the skulls with the back stitching. So more than likely I will. Um, I'm just still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the back stitching on the border part itself, like how many stitches I want to go. Because I'm not doing every one. Probably will do every five, every ten, somewhere around there. But anyway, here is what it's looking like. You hear that sound of my coffee brewing, so I uh, needed. <laughs> But there is the one bat, and I'm just gonna work across the top and hopefully in the middle. And I'll check in with you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is what's today, the 27th. It's Wednesday. It's like 2:30, and I have to leave in half an hour to go to the dentist. But I did do some stuff today. Yesterday we put in uh, sorry, let me get some stuff sitting on my corner and I couldn't see it. Um, oh yes. <laughs> we put in two sets of water, so 180 stitches E. No. Sort of. <laughs> Monday we had put in 48 stitches. Yesterday we put in 132. And then we put in another 180. And then we put in another 48. So two sets of waters and part of a third set. Um, now that I reached my first level on scavenging, I need to do 10% fewer stitches, so I only have to do 180 instead of 200 for uh, a water. And I also unlocked a hidden skill, so I don't know if we're supposed to put out what it is or not, so I'm not going to tell you what the hidden skill is until I get confirmation from Rita Marie on if we're allowed to put that out there or not. Um, but what I did do other than that was this morning I took the baby out for a walk, got back, had lunch, and now we had gone to Target yesterday, yeah, yesterday, and I had picked up a couple of book bins, um, because I don't have access, like, it's really hard to get to my, st it's not really hard, it's just a pain in the butt to get to my stash now, and I wanted to get my stash kind of out where I can see it because before I had it in a drawer and so like all my patterns and stuff and when stuff is out of sight it's out of mind and so I wanted to get some book bins so I could I wasn't sure how I was gonna organize everything um, but basically just so I can see it which means there's a better chance that I'll actually stitch the things instead of um, just buying more hang on my mom's gone Anyway, so like I was saying, um, so I basically took out all of my patterns, all of my kits, everything, and everything ended up actually working really well naturally. I still have some organizing with it to do, but here is, I, I wasn't even sure how many bins to buy, so I bought four thinking that I would have three for cross-stitch stuff and then one for like work type stuff, and I bought some folders for work or cross-stitch, depending on how I ended up doing it. But I ended up using all four of them for cross-stitch, so not a huge deal, but um, I have to go buy some more. But I kind of don't have room either. But I kind of don't need them for work, so, because a lot of my stuff is online and everything else I bought a, what do you call it, corkboard for, so I might not actually need it. It was more because the folders were pretty and I wanted to find something to do with them, so I bought them anyway. <laughs> anyway, all that to say, here is how I spent my morning. 
So I had my printer up here. I took that and put it down in the bottom of the nightstand. And then I thought I'd be able to fit all four, but with the lamp, I can't do that. So I might move the lamp. Um, we'll see. But basically, I started off putting all of my kits in, and it's not all my kits, it's all my large kits, in the one, which, and they're like stuffed in there, so I can't buy any more of those until I work on some of those ones. And that doesn't even have my stocking kit in it, because it's only un- I'll say unkitted, but projects haven't started yet. And then in the middle bin, we have all of my magazines, which I need to sort, and all of my um, regular miscellaneous charts. Then on the right, we have all of my mini charts. And then the tall ones are all of my seasonal charts. So the right side is Halloween and the left side is Christmas because those are the only two seasons apparently that matter <laughs> that I have stuff for. Everything else down here is just needs to be organized and it's just random stuff that need a home. Well, not even like it's got my art container and some diamond painting stuff. So it's really just more it needs to be put away. But then over on my desk, my original plan was to figure out something to do with that area, and that's the work stuff that I was planning on using one for, so I might still get another one, just so I can move my, that, <laughs> that's filled with lip gloss, so yeah, um, I might have a slight makeup buying problem as well. And then, so this bin has all of my Mirabilia's slash Nora Corbett's, and then those are the folders that I bought that I will find a, a use for, but I mean, come on. They're so pretty. So yeah, we'll find a use for those. But yeah, this whole area, these are all my planners and stuff for work and like stickers and stuff. So that's what I need to find a way to reorganize some of that stuff. Like those are all my makeup palettes as well as those behind there as well as all those. So these were all here. And some of my makeup stuff is still up there, so I think I'm going to, like, basically I'm, I'm going to find a way to reorganize all this and all this to make it more cohesive. And then all of my coffee stash and stuff needs to find a home. So this is probably going to go in the drawers that I emptied. So <laughs> these are the drawers that have my cross-stitch patterns. So these are currently almost empty. There's a little bit of fabric in one, but I can move it up to the top two have fabric in them. So I need to basically figure out how to get this and this and those. This has all my regular fabric, um, but there's only the one drawer because the other drawer, or there's two drawers, there's one below, um, but this is like all the stuff that goes up top so the, there's two drawers on that and this is all on wheels so this is one giant unit um those are two separate units but the fact that i had my patterns down there means you couldn't see them and so it ended up being not as useful i think as having them out will be so i'm going to Everything's going to stay the way it is for right now. Um, I still have, like, room on my desk to actually do stuff. Um, but, like, how, those are my computers and stuff that I don't want to have on my desk all the time. Like, my work computer and stuff. But I will be utilizing a lot more once work actually gets up and going again next week. So, this is all stuff I'm going to try to figure out tomorrow because the baby will be at daycare tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I have all that stuff up there, too, that I need to... To figure out so just a lot of reorganizing and retooling of stuff when oh, i got my coffee maker and stuff over there so that all might move these are actually these shelves are like two units so that part resting like rests on that part um so they're kind of i can kind of move them around a little bit as i need to but there's only like two or three configurations I think that I can do with them. So I can move them around if I need to, but anyway, that's a lot of 
of talking to say that I, everything is a mess right now, but I'm hoping to get that all figured out soon. And this stacking thing right here might end up, because basically what that is, it's a smaller version of these bigger magazine rack book bin things. So I might sit that up upright, but I wouldn't be able to put anything on top of it. So, but it would also look a lot nicer. So, but anyway, just going to think on that and get all that figured out. But since you are here for stitching, the reason I only put in 48 stitches instead of doing another 200 yesterday, other than the baby coming home from daycare, is that I finished all of the bats. And there just so happened to be 48 stitches left in that last bat. So I'm going to work on the inside border next, which should go pretty quick, especially because I don't really need to count. It's basically just going up until here and then starting again here. So assuming that everything is counted correctly, or stitched correctly. I think it'll go pretty quick. So fingers crossed. But since it's already 2.40, we're leaving here in about half an hour or so. So I don't know if I'm actually going to start or not or just do some organizing. But either way, I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back. It is Thursday the 28th. My dentist appointment sucked because I got cavities. <laughs> um, but it is ooh, like 10 o'clock in the morning, 9.30. So I am pouring my coffee, if you can hear. And after I finished that, my husband got me donuts because he loves me. He is at a massage. I have one booked later because he really loves me. And so I basically have, from after finishing my coffee, until 3-ish to get this craft room reorganized. So that's basically just my plan for the day. Um, I kind of think I figured out where I want stuff to go. I don't know if it'll actually work, but we're going to see. Um, but the first step is going to be to get all my cross-stitch fabric out because I think that's what's going to go on the four-tier or four-shelf organizer thing. So, yeah, that takes up two drawers worth, so wish me luck. But I didn't do any stitching yesterday, so I have nothing to show you there. But I do have some stitchy haul to show you. Excuse the messy desk, but I got my... <laughs> order from Kim at Needle Attractions, you can find on Facebook, and, and um, yeah, I kind of went a little crazy. So this was a freebie, but I got this cute seahorse. I love enamel minders, and so that's what I kind of went crazy on, but the Owl Post Service, the Leaky Cauldron, which I know is kind of hard to see, and the Worm from Labyrinth. And then I got the mountain scene, true crime addict, and in a world full of princesses, be a witch. And I got my first pair of scissors that was not purchased from a craft store or like Michael's Joann's. So I got these really pretty rainbow peacock scissors. And I think these were only like six, seven bucks but they come in this nice leather protector. Yeah, so those are some things I got. Hopefully this does not take all day, but we're gonna see. So I might have stitching tomorrow, I might not, but I will check in with you later. Hi hey everybody, welcome back. It is, you see yourself? Um, Friday the 29th. It is like 10 in the morning, maybe. This little guy actually slept last night, so that was good, because the night before he woke up like six times. Um, we did actually do some stitching yesterday. I got the whole craft room 
No, well, okay. I got the parts of the craft room that I was planning on um, reorganized and ended up with more space that I need to figure out how I want to utilize it. I ended up with two drawers that are empty. So I need to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, you're so cute. Put in a whole row of stitches plus a little bit more. Um, I finished off the thread basically, which inadvertently led me to an exact 40 of the new water. Um, but I am just planning on working on the inside border today if I can. We have a dinner thing we have to go to and my husband just told me that he has a lunch thing for work. So we'll see. You're cute. Oh, we kind of match. Um, so we'll see how much I can actually accomplish. And then I didn't tell you guys, but we are leaving on Monday to go to the mountains, which means I'm going to get like three hours of stitching time in the car, but don't know how much I'm actually going to accomplish there. Um, so I'm going to show you the craft room real quick, and then I will show you my stitching. So put in a more stuff that I utilize more down there before it was just filled with a bunch of cords and stuff I never really used. And then I have all my cross stitch fabric now on the shelves. Over here we just have a few odds and ends. Up top is where we put our charts and I put all of my like basically filled up the rest of that drawer thing right there. Then kept all my journals there, kept my makeup there, put all of my nail stuff over there, which I need to do that today if I can, but we'll see. Kept the charts there and then moved all of my coffee, well, not all of it, but my extra coffee and tea down in where the fabric used to be. So basically those two of the drawers are filled up with that and my excess makeup because I don't always do like, in fact, I very rarely do a full face. So I usually just do eyeshadow and lipstick. Um, so that's what all that is. Um, but for special occasions and stuff, I'll do foundation and all that. So that's in one of the drawers. Um, but yeah, so we're a lot more open space wise. Um, my computer needs to go over, my other computer needs to go over there. And then, gotta redo the calendar. But other than that, I'm happy with how everything is turning out and that I have extra room now. So I'm going to work on the border. And I think after I finish that inner border, I'm going to finish this vlog. Because I should hopefully finish it before the trip. So keeps reaching for the phone so <laughs> if he sees himself that might help so anyway I'm going to leave you all here for a little bit hopefully get some stitching done hi baby and check in with you all a little later hey guys welcome back we have somebody who is not happy so we're gonna make this really quick it is Sunday the 31st it is nighttime I think it's like 7.30. And I finally finished up my border. So I put in, well, except for the back stitch. But I put in three sets of 180 stitches yesterday for the water task, which is officially over. We are in the next task, which is actually a week break. So we're going to take that break, sort of. Um, and then we have just finished up the yearly task in Magical Stitches as well. So, I'm going to show you that, and I'll talk about my plans in just a second. So here's the unhappy little thing. He's ready to get out of there. He just got home. But here it is. It's looking good. And we're going to do the black back stitch. We leave tomorrow for our trip. And then... I'm basically just not going to count the stitches for the week because it'll be hard with backstitch anyway. So I'm gonna try to get as much backstitching in as I can just to make it easier later. 
But because of that, this is a great place to end my vlog. So I am going to do that now. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. Thank you for stopping by if you're here for the first time. I hope you liked what you saw. And I will see you all next time with hopefully some on the road stitching. But we're gonna see, cause I'm not gonna be by myself. We're gonna have my sister-in-law staying with us at the cabin. But we both wish you a happy week and we will see you all next time.